Hi! I'm Jeline Ann Pangilinan and for this vlog, I'll be answering three questions. What are the three main key takeaways from my reading? From the analysis of Hill on pages 159 and 160, I have learned that the visuals found in the textbook were purely decorative and doesn't serve any language learning or educational function. I also learned about the importance of visuals, layout, and design. Visuals should be the aid for learning the lesson. The layout is the placing of the visuals and the text in its appropriate place. Lastly, the design, which is the overall appearance and function of the book. I should not focus only on the text, but rather, I should give importance to the visuals, layout, and design that supports the topic that I'll be teaching. How are these three key takeaways going to affect me as a language materials developer? I have realized that as a future educator, I have to know how to critically evaluate a textbook and make sure that the book will function as an aid for the student's learning. Second, as a future educator, I have to be an innovative thinker. If the textbook that we're using provides a few visuals for the students to be exposed, I have to choose the right kind of visuals that are appropriate for my objectives, learners, and teaching context. I should also consider the layout of the visuals and text and make sure that the layout doesn't give confusion to my students while learning. Lastly, I should not forget about the design. The book should be appealing and impactful. If I consider the visuals, layouts, and design, this could help me to achieve my objectives and also help my students to understand the new experiences that they are introduced to. I should not look in purely decorative but potentially engaging visuals in the materials that I am using. I should think of activities that I can add to make immediate use of the visuals for the language activities. What is the challenge then? Based on Prowse on page 161, collaboration and agreements are vital among materials writers, designers, and editors of publishers. The challenge is, is such collaboration happening? Collaboration is important to produce the visuals, layouts, and designs that are properly used together to achieve effective learning. Thank you for watching. Bye!